know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. Rajkumari Amrit Kaur a princess who left a life of luxury and privilege to join India's freedom struggle. She later became independent India's first woman cabinet minister. A trailblazer of her time, Rajkumari Amrit Kaur is an inspiration even today. But how do you take her story to a new generation of Indians, the millennials who may not have heard of her? Two Chandigarh-based brothers, Siddhant and Vikrant Das, Rajkumari Amrit Kaur's great-grandnephews, both in their 20s, are trying to preserve and document her legacy. They feel hers is a story that needs to be told to youngsters like themselves. Rajkumari Amrit Kaur was, of course, born in the late, in, uh, late part of the 19th uh, century in Lucknow, Badshah Bagh. And, of course, she was uh, the daughter of Raja Sir Harnam Singh and a prince, the prince of Kaputla. She had seven brothers and all of them, in fact most of them were educated in England uh, and uh, she had the privilege of going to Sherbourne in Oxford and um, got herself educated in the French, Italian um, and many ways a lot of um, art, culture, etc. But what struck her the most is that, uh, especially when she came back to India, is the stark difference between the level of equality and the level of freedom that people in Europe enjoyed and um, the people in India were enjoying. And uh, that sense of injustice and that sense of inequality really appealed to her. So um, she came back in, in 1915. She got in touch with uh, Gopal Krishna Gokhale, who was my great great grandfather's uh, very close friend. And um, she got inspired. She heard about Gandhiji and um, the one um, act of the British which was 1919 Jallianwala Bagh really enraged her and that's when she decided to really jump into the freedom movement and join Gandhiji and his forces and give up uh, her princely life. The Das brothers have carefully preserved many interesting objects with fascinating backstories that remind them of their family's legacy. For example, this hand puppet Uno, named after the United Nations. Rajkumari Amrit Kaur's brother, Sir Maharaj Singh, used this puppet to make a case for India's independence in New York. My uh, their great grandfather then of, was also a member of the uh, delegation which went uh, to the UNGA before independence, and uh, there was no one was really hearing him, right? So, and he was a ventriloquist. So um, he took these two puppets, in fact one puppet, he's, he's named UNO, United Nations Organization, named after that. And to make a point, because India was a third world country, still struggling for independence, he actually held a puppet show. So that people, uh, the delegates from uh, the first world countries would actually take up notice. Siddhant's younger brother, Vikrant Das, has been in the forefront of preserving the old family documents and photographs and help create a comprehensive family archive. Vikrant spoke to us about how piecing together the family story can even begin from a simple Google search. As we started searching, we had a few documents with ourselves, letters that were written here and there, personal letters, official letters. There are many searching for, uh, generally searching our name on Google Searching our family's name on Google as well uh, <coughs> opened up many doors for us, you know. Once you start searching for something and you hook on to uh, little bits and pieces here and there, finding family members of uh, contemporaries, finding descendants of contemporaries from that era uh, has helped us a lot. In fact, my brother has uh, gotten in touch with uh, India Hicks, who is the granddaughter of Lady, uh, Lord Mountbatten, and exchanged some notes and also that really helps you know, knowing that you're not alone and there is somebody with whom you can share. We have our parents and our grandparents and our ancestors to thank for that, that they have preserved all these photos, documents and all uh, 
like till date and it's uh, that we're only carrying forward you know like simple things like using acid free paper or, or in fact opening up documents and you know just giving them a normal dust not letting them keep uh, not keeping them moist opening them up every summer it is a tedious task when you have many but you have to do it in, if you want to preserve it right maintaining these things takes a lot of time and a lot of effort but if you are willing to do it, I think you can preserve a lot and keep for generations to come. At a time when family archives across India are being dispersed and destroyed and oral history is being forgotten, this effort by the Das brothers to preserve the story and legacy of a great leader like Rajkumari Amrit Kaur is commendable and must be an inspiration for others like them.